And we start with exciting news for middle and high schoolers in Central Valley. Those who choose to do so will be able to attend class in person starting February 1st. However, that doesn't mean things will just go back to how they were before the pandemic. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. The district will be using a phased in approach. Katarina Krasafis breaks down exactly what that will look like. It's all new on Nightside. Well, Aaron, the parents and students I spoke with say it's been a long time coming. While some are excited about the change, others I spoke with say this should have happened months ago. It's definitely been tough. This pandemic has been hard on all of us, especially students. It's much harder to learn in the online way too. Not only has Brian Caldera spent most of his senior year learning from home, he also hasn't been able to do the one thing he loves most, play basketball. We're on the brink of possibly getting our season canceled and that also has never happened. Neither has a pandemic, at least in most of our lifetimes. Tonight, board members with the Central Valley School District voted on a plan Caldera believes will help make things a little more normal. If I get to be in person, I feel like it will help a lot. Starting February 1st, 7th through 12th grade students will be back to in-person learning, starting in a phased-in hybrid approach. Students will be placed into four cohorts, with each cohort attending school one day per week. While it may be exciting for some, others I spoke with say one day just isn't enough. Other countries, other states, other districts have done this and made it work. And we should have been doing this from the very beginning. Shannon Casteldas' daughter, Italia, is a freshman at Central Valley High School. She says although the situation isn't ideal, she'll take what she can get. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that it's just one day a week, but I'm glad that we're like getting to go back to school. Whatever it takes to get us back moving, I think we deserve it. And I think, I think Spokane deserves it. In Spokane, Katerina Crisop. The board is also working on moving on to the next phase of in-person learning starting as of March 1st. However, the date has not yet been finalized. Aaron. Katarina, thank you.